And in invoking the Defense Production Act to boost supply in the House passing a bill to help lower income families buy formula. Now it doesn't, however, help parents stuck right now at the moment as they are being reminded to never use homemade formula. News on New Jersey's Marcy Rubin found out what they're doing to keep their babies fed. Eight month old Micah is all smiles during his well visit to Riverside Pediatrics in Hoboken today. His mom, Kabulo Mwilwabwe, not so much with the infant formula shortage on her mind. She calls it nerve wracking. A very concerned. Um, we looked at our local shop, right? They didn't have any. It's just surprising that it's actually happening. Um, especially concerning babies. You just want to make sure that they're well fed. While the federal and state governments are taking steps to end the formula shortage, parents like Kabulo fear it won't get the products they need back on the shelves fast enough. Yeah. So many and most of the phone calls are coming from parents of, who have infants that are who are under six months of age. Pediatrician Dr. Sheba Ben has been taking those calls. The most common questions involve switching brands, which the doctor says is just fine. Fine. Even generic will work as long as your child isn't on a specialized formula. What is not okay? Making your own at home or diluting what you've got to make it go further. You can have um, nutritional deficiencies if you are trying to make your own formula at home. Diluting the formulas down um, can cause these nutri nutritional imbalances, um, electrolyte imbalances where children have actually ended up in the emergency room, and not to mention not getting enough calories. You can also call your pediatrician. Many doctor's offices have samples of different kinds of formula on hand, and they are giving them away to those in need. They may be able to direct you to other resources. Um, there are also social media groups online who are dedicated to infant feedings. The doctor also suggests checking smaller stores or pharmacies, which is what Kabulo ended up doing. She found a couple of cans at a neighborhood Walgreens. But until the shelves are back to being fully stocked, her nerves aren't going anywhere. Not when it comes to feeding her adorable baby boy. Marcy Rubin, News 12, New Jersey. Now, some pediatricians say it's okay to let babies close to a year old drink some cow's milk in an emergency. Of course, though, you always want to check with your own doctor first.